بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين All praise is due to Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon all those who follow his guidance until the last day. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Salah is the backbone of this religion, of this deen. And Allah commands us to pray in the Qur'an. Allah wants from us to worship him. This is why we exist on this earth. Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That I have created not the jinn or mankind, except to worship him. And what better act of worship than the act of worship of prayer, of salah. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, indicated that Salah is one of the five pillars of Islam. The first one being the shahada, the declaration of faith. And then directly after this phrase, we have a salah. And then of course we have zakah and fasting or psalm and the hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. Let us now go back 1400 years ago and look at how the salah was commanded because when we look at this history when we look at the background of the salah we are going to realize how important salah is let's visit the tail end of the story of al-isra wal mi'raj the night journey this is the journey whereby the prophet was accompanied by the angel jibril angel gabriel and he ascends through the heavens. And when he gets to the sixth heaven, it is at this point he greets Prophet Musa, Moses. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And then he ascends to the seventh heaven. And it is at this point that Allah reveals to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, the prayer, the salah. He commands him to pray 50 prayers. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam must come back to his people and advise them that they have been commanded to pray 50 times a day, in the day, and in the night. So he comes back down and he meets Musa again at the sixth heaven. And Musa asks him, he says to him, what has Allah commanded you? And he says, 50 prayers in the day and night. So he says, go back. Go back and ask Allah to reduce it. For verily, I have tried with the children of Israel. I have tried with Banu Israel. Your people will not be able to handle this. So he goes back and he requests from Allah to reduce the number. And it is reduced by 10. But when he meets Musa again, Musa says, no, go back. And he goes back and the number is reduced again and again until it is reduced to five. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that they are five prayers every day. They are five prayers every day, each being rewarded as 10. So that makes 50 times or 50 times of prayer a day. And so, even Musa at this point, when he hears about the five prayers, when Musa finds out, he says, go back. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, he says, I have asked Allah to reduce it so much that I am now too shy to ask him to reduce it any, any further. And so, the Prophet accepts what Allah has commanded. And he comes back down with this command to pray five times a day. But remember that for each prayer, it is equivalent to ten prayers. So in essence, when you do pray five times a day, you are being rewarded 
as if having prayed 50 prayers a day. The night journey teaches us many lessons. Not only does it teach us how salah was legislated, but also we learn that about the importance of the salah. You see, the other acts of worship, whether they are zakah or the fasting of the month of Ramadan or pilgrimage to Mecca or any other act of worship that Allah legislated, He legislated them on this earth. Whereas salah was legislated in the heavens. Also, the other acts of worship were legislated through a mediator, and that is through the angel Jibril. However, this is not the case with salah. Salah was legislated between Allah and between Prophet Muhammad وسلم, without a middle person. Salah is the first act of worship that was legislated before any other act of worship and it was legislated during the period of Mecca and every other act of worship was not legislated until after the migration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Medina. 